rubber layer goes on first. Silicon rubber is painted all over this and then that's soft and, and pliable so it needs a firm jacket which is made of fiberglass and that all gets put together and screwed together and that will then be at the foundry it'll have wax poured into it and then from that process it'll be the lost wax process and going through into it being turned into bronze. So basically we have this wax with its feeder system all connecting up to a common wax pouring cup that then goes through for ceramic shell coating. The piece is then ready to have the wax removed from that ceramic shell. So basically the sculpture is heated with a propane torch which will then cause all of the wax to then melt out of that ceramic shell. The uh, ceramic shell then goes into a pouring bin and the bronze will be heated up to temperature ready for pouring. Once the bronze is actually getting to temperature, which is around about 1200 degrees, um, they will then turn off the furnace for the ceramic shells and they will pour sand all around all of the sculptures to add further support for, for receiving the bronze. The bronze then is obviously lifted by a crane system and poured into the ceramic shell and obviously it will then flood through and achieve obviously the casting. Uh, usually the next day the sculptures will be removed from the pouring bin and the ceramic shell is removed using a high pressure water blaster. get to this stage is obviously really exciting and what I'm looking for is that the detail is still there the subtlety the you know little lines in the eyebrows the character lines you just they're crucial to the, the look of the portrait and you have to trust the foundry implicitly to know that those details are going to get picked up because it's very brutal what happens to it during this process and um, those subtleties need to still be there and so that's what I'm kind of looking for here and I'm, I'm happy. I've got little hints of things like fingerprints to check and I've put quite a lot of texture in this jacket which all seems to, yeah, it's great. This obviously looks a bit brutal, there's a patch taken out here which they will just slot back in. I spent the whole day here, you know, checking the wax over and making a few little amendments and um, it, it's, looking, it's looking fab.